What you doing? Just here at my restaurant, just checking on things. I miss your lamb chops. Mm. Come and get it, baby. <laughs> this is what we gonna do. I'm gonna go first and then you gonna try it, okay? Uh, get these back teeth. Yes, we are. Spit. Blaze, you're not supposed to swallow the toothpaste. No. The property, it just, it gives like, ah, I'm, I'm flattered, thank you, Anna. <laughs> so, you know, I heard you guys are doing a mental health getaway here at the home, so I just want to learn a little bit about more of what you wanted to do. It's so important to be ahead of brain health. Yes. So you don't end up in a psychiatric ward like me. Y'all know Allison was my manager my right. whole yeah, entire my life. life. Yeah. So to see her go through something real, yeah. I was very confused. Like, she's yeah. always been the strong one. And that's when I started to think about my own mental health. Yes. Um, and just with everything I have going on. My sister shared with me that when she went through her divorce, that was what caused her mental health break. So I am working so hard to keep my mental health in a good space and really be there for my family. So the goal is to open up a conversation and learn. In our community, the African-American community, we don't talk about mental health enough. I know you talked about even having a bar. Well, alcohol is a toxin to the brain. Mm -hmm. What I think we should have for the actual retreat are some options of what we call functional drinks. Like are they you serious? Like supplements like GABA and things that help you relax. So it's a non-alcoholic beverage where there is mm -hmm. no effect. Oh, man, seriously? <laughs> All right, well, so you got it, right? Oh, are you talking to me? Because <laughs> I can't hear you over my new... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> thank you. I just you remember that. Girl. I just remember that I got this new Roly now. I don't know how to act. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> There's something um, wrong with you. Okay. So you know we have a lot to for us to really like talk about and think about. I think as a family. Mm -hmm. I feel like you were gone and just like we never had a chance to like really, really like. Really dive into it. Yeah. I did take some notes and I did want you to kind of flip through them. Pregnant. This real? It's real. Is it real? It's real. This is real. It's real. No way. It's real. No way. Real. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> It definitely feels different telling Ross that I'm pregnant the second time around. You know, the first time, Ross and I had just retired. It happened quickly. But this time, the whole family had known how much Ross wanted it and how, you know, I was kind of unsure about it. It took some work to get here. I'm excited about what the future holds. Yeah, sit back, girl. Sit back, <laughs> sit back, sit back. I'm sweating a little bit. Oh, babe. I wanted to surprise you, so I wanted to, like, surprise you and the families. Yo. Dad, Chezzy, Famia. Oh, yeah. Okay, 2023. Okay, let's start it off right. <laughs> Daddy O. Yo, yo. <laughs> Family meeting time. First, I was just kind of thinking maybe we could talk about some of the stuff that, you know, we've been working on and some of the goals that we have for 2023. Um, I wrote some of the stuff in my notebook. Um, I think it's over here. But I wanted to, uh... <laughs> what? Oh, what happened? I love you, Nancy. What is happening? Nobody told me. What? I missed it. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Turn around, babe. Mommy's a slow Yay. one. Congrats. Oh. Oh. Fantastic. Oh, my God. No way. She slept all damn Christmas <laughs> holiday. <laughs> True blessing. Yeah. yeah, that is amazing. Unbelievable. So, I mean, okay, so obviously. We started looking at apartments. <laughs> yeah, we decided to live in the same 
community. Oh wait, so you guys are already identified an apartment that we like, yeah. Yeah, that we like. It certainly doesn't help for wanting a second child with my family wanting to move out. <laughs> I actually am okay with finding a nanny or finding someone else to help. It's a lot of things, just a lot of things. It's just making it challenging for your girl. You're gonna be a big brother. Mommy and daddy are having a baby. When? <laughs> Congratulations, guys.